leisure time is really a struggle to many of us, especially those who are working, those who are preoccupied. That there is a joke that a, a person's simple and short prayer would be, uh, Dear God, I, I am so busy, I, so I, I, I have to go and, and, and hurry. No? And, uh, you know, any, any prayer, for as long as it's done coming from the heart, any activity that we do is a prayer by itself. No? Even if while you're working, even if while you're doing household chores, even while you're sweeping the floor, God, and that by itself is already prayer. But the kind of prayer also that will deepen our relationship with God is for us to be able to have those intimate moments. It's between you and Him when you commune with Him, when you when you talk to Him, and when you also have those silent moments when you, wherein you just stop uh, talking and be silent and be able to hear His voice uh, talking to you and uh, comforting you at that point in time. And we are using the Ignatian spiritual exercise initiated by St. Ignatius of Loyola. No? So it uses a five-step program. So ang ganda. And it enables you to be able to really examine yourself, go to your feelings, what you're feeling through. Talagang huhukayin mo kung ano talaga yung pinagdadaanan mo. It's only a 15-minute exercise. No? And it's a wonderful prayer. I've been, I've been a prayerful person because I lived with an aunt when I was growing up. And my aunt was a, a devout Catholic. She taught me the prayer and even the angelus, the rosary. And I've been praying every day and uh, the memorized prayer. When I encountered the spiritual exercise of St. Ignatius of Loyola, it deepened even my, my prayer time. So you know, whatever you're doing, huh? even if you're washing the dishes, even if you're doing the laundry, even if you're ironing your clothes, even at work, you can dedicate your work to God. You can sanctify your work by offering it to God and work by itself is already prayer.